Welcome back to JC Motor Garage. So today I'm at the garage with Emmeline and we're gonna be working on the car a little bit. So let's see what Corey did and then see what else we can uh, finish up what he just hasn't done yet and let's get into it. So we got the, the car and all four jacks here. So we got one there and one in the back. I need to jack this up just a little bit more because I need a little bit more clearance in the front. Right back here, Corey got a set of uh, set of four tires and wheels for the for the Integra so these are the GSR wheels so if you've seen the first video it came we pulled it up pulled it in here it was on two steelies in the back and two uh, spares in the front so we got tires now and we also got a uh, B16 VTEC head we got the cams out all that there's the radiator over here and uh, yeah so we got this so what he's got done already, he's got the brake uh, calipers off in the back. Got those done, those have been draining. So that's good. We're about to take off the rotors off the back. He's gonna do that. Got this on um, the jack stands here, but as you can see right here, the front is very low. So I gotta get this jacked up just a little bit more so we can get this, uh, so we can get this transmission out of here. So let's get this thing jacked up and uh, I'll be right back. So what I'm going to do is I got the 17 millimeter on this and I'm going to try to get this uh, double wishbone off this strut off of here and I'm going to try to lower this down a little bit so try to get that done and then uh, I'll be right back. Alright so I got the bolt out for the, the strut tower here. Got this loose. This is all loose now. I got the top ball joint off of here. I got that loose, I hit that with the hammer, popped off. So now we got the CV axle. So now it's now it's loose. And then we're getting ready to get underneath there and see if I can get this uh, see if I can get this one out. So I'll be back in a minute. See if I can get it out. But well, we got that out, got that pounded out there. It's all free. It's all free and loose now, so it's just hanging there, so that's good. So got the wheel sensor off right here. Got the wheel sensor off, so that's good. Got that out of the way. The tie rod for the power steering's out. So, see if I can get underneath here and get this out. So, Corey and I are over here working on the Integra, so I'm gonna show you what we got done. Hopefully we can pull this in today. So, let's get into it. Okay. All right, so we got the strut tower out. We got the bolts loose. And we got the bracket here, the speed sensor's out. And these two brackets right here, one goes in here, one goes in here. They're both 12 millimeter. So we got those out, the hooks onto the strut tower. So show them the strut tower over there and the spindle and the, and the wheel hub and everything's all out. It's all right over there. So we're gonna get this uh, passenger side CV axle out right here. So we're gonna get this axle out and then we'll start working on the, the driver side. So we got the half shaft and then we got another one going to the transmission on the other side. And then we need to get the clutch the clutch out for the slave cylinder so we need to get that out of here and then disconnect some sensors and all that and then we should be able to uh we should be able to drop this down so we're gonna get the cv axle out real quick and then uh we'll be right back all right so we got the driver passenger side out so now we're gonna get this driver uh driver side strut tower out so we sprayed them so let's hit them here and see if we can see if we get a got one and the bolts are really uh rusted really rusted you can see so we're gonna have to get new ones here so i'm gonna loosen this up and then i want you to go side see if we can get it. okay it's coming out so let's hit it the rest of the way and let's get this strut tower out of here and there you go now we should be able to get this other bolt on the other side right here. So if you lift this up, right on the back side, there's another 12 millimeter. So there's a 12 millimeter here for the brake line. And there's one on the other side right here. So you can get this out of here. And then this strut tower will come out. And we'll have to get it over the CV axle. And then we'll take the bottom spindle off here for the hub. And we'll get that off of there in a minute. And then we'll be able to go on the other side and then we'll be able to get the half shaft off. Hopefully the one side, we'll leave the half shaft on the transmission on the back 
so we'll be able to drop it that way and then once it's down we'll be able to get everything broken loose so we're going to get this 12 millimeter bolt out and then we're going to get this strut tower out it's just it's just there but it's holding it right by the brake line so give me a 12 millimeter here just the other 12 millimeter okay <laughs> see if i can get see if i can get it on this bolt here and uh, get this loose might have to come in i might have to come in this way and get it this way there we go so now i should be able to i should be able to turn it enough where i can get it's right here there you go and then we'll get this out of here She's out. Perfect. And we got grease coming out of here. Look at the CV axle. We got grease coming out. Look at it. That's bad. Ooh, that does not look good. Holy crap. That does not look good. All right. Let's get something underneath here so don't drip on the drip on the ground. All right. There's your other strut tower. So we're gonna put this one on this side so we don't mix them up. And then we'll mark them driver side and passenger side so let's get this uh let's get this bottom spindle out here did you already get this loose yeah yeah all right give me a me a hammer and then it should knock this loose right here so let's hit it should be able to use the wheel bearing and everything so this is what we got for the transmission when we put it down so it holds a thousand pounds so i know that transmission is not a thousand pounds so it should be good to lay it right on there and we can scoot it out so let me see what we got going on here and then uh i'll be right back all right so we've been working on the car we got the spindles out we got the half shaft out and we got the CV axle on this side. So that's all done. It's ready to go on this side. So over here, we got the slave cylinder pulled out right there. So it's just uh, two bolt, three bolts here, one big bolt and then uh, two on the side. So we got that out of there. That's a trans bolt right there. And then uh, we got the other side out. So this side's out too. So we're gonna leave this uh, CV axle in there because it's really hard to get to. You can see right down here. All right, so like I was saying, the CV axle right down there, I don't know if you can you can see it right there. You see how that uh, bracket goes to the transmission there? It's really hard to get to and trying to get that out of here. And the same with, uh, same with the other side. So we got that out. We got the slave cylinder out, that's good. We sprayed the bolts here. So we got that out. Um, we got those loose. Um, we got the strut towers out, so the strut towers are gone. They're over here. So we got the spindle on the hub for the passenger side here. There's the strut, and then the other side. There's the other side. There's the driver's side. So we got that out also. Here's the here's the half shaft right here, right here. So there's three bolts right here. So I got the third bolt out. Corey got two of them out. I got the other one out. So we got that done. And uh, yeah, there's the, there's the driver's side CV axle. So this is the part that goes in the transmission here. And this part goes through your spindle right there through your hub. So we got that out. Corey's got some of the, the back brakes done. He's got the rear calipers off, so he's done that. Um, so yeah, this car is coming along. Um, we gotta get ready and pull this uh, transmission here soon. So like I said, we're gonna leave that CV axle in there um, while we drop the transmission. I don't know. 
I don't know if we're gonna pull the transmission or we're just gonna pull the engine and transmission at one time. I don't know yet because there's no bracket holding the engine up. So, and there's those three bolts right down here holding that up. So that's kind of what we're going over right now. Try to figure out if we're just gonna pull the engine transmission at one time because we are hoist back here. We have is this one right here and it is a uh it's a two ton two ton capacity so that should definitely pick up that transmission and engine at one time so i don't think we're going to have an issue with that but we just got to figure it out and here's the wheels that we got for the for the uh, car so we got four wheels those are the integra gsr wheels so we got that that's our engine hoist right there so there's the b16 head that we got off of uh that one guy we traded so we got that, so that's gonna be cleaned up here soon and we gotta get some cams and stuff for that. So that's gonna be going on here soon. So yeah, that's kinda, that's kinda where we're at right now with this. So uh, we just gotta figure out what we're gonna do as far as pulling the transmission or the engine at one time. I know we can do it because it's two tons. So we just got to disconnect some other stuff, try to get the intake off of here, so. We'll be seeing what else we can do to this car while we're over here and then uh we'll be right back when uh we figure out what we're gonna do next i don't know we might pull the transmission engine today i don't know depends on uh how far we get so let's see what we can get into and then uh we'll be right back and let you know our decision all right so we're back working on the integra today so we've got to um pull the pull the slave cylinder out there we got to pull the starter out here so there's a 10 millimeter bolt there so we're going to pull this starter out we're going to get that out of the way and then see what else we can uh get out of here because we can't get that cv axle out right there it's stuck in there the one right down here you can see right down there so we're gonna have to uh we're gonna have to drop the transmission out so we're going to have to do this. So we'll see if we can get this uh, transmission pulled out today and dropped it. We'll do the trans bolts. We'll get that all done. We're trying to get these brackets out. So these brackets here, this one, this one, this one. We'll get this out of here. This bracket needs to be out of here. So we'll get these two bolts out here and here. We'll get this out for the hydraulic line for the slave cylinder. We'll get, um, we'll get this unplugged here. So we're working on that right now. And then we will... Uh, see if we can pull this uh drop this transmission today and put it on uh, the little dolly that we have right there so we'll drop it on that and then we'll uh we'll jack up the engine the side of the engine and we'll try to get that done today also so let's see what we can get into and then uh we'll be right back when we uh when we get it undone so we got the starter unplugged here we got all the wires from there we got the coolant temp sensor unplugged here we got the coolant thing here so we're about to take this off here so we got the slave cylinder brackets out here so this is sitting this was sitting just like this so we got that out so we can push this up out of the way now we got that this whole wire harness is pretty much pretty much out of the way now so we're going to get ready and uh we're going to pull this out push this up here and then we're going to pull this starter out we'll get the starter out and then hopefully I can get to that CV axle right down there. Once I pull this starter out, maybe I'll be able to get to it with a crowbar. We'll, we'll see. So let's see what uh, let's see what coolant is in here. Let's see if it's anything in there. Nope, nothing, nothing in there. Is it nasty? No, not too bad. All right. So here we go. We got this. So we'll push this back. We'll push this back this way so it doesn't leak in anything. Let's push it up here like this. There we go. All right, there we go. All right, so now we're gonna get ready and uh, we're gonna pull this starter out here. So go grab a, grab a socket and get this one out. So we'll be right back when we pull the starter out. All right, so we got the, the starter bolts out. They're 14 millimeter. There's one on the top and then one right here and then there's one on the bottom so we use the half inch breaker bar so it should be coming out here soon we should be able to get this out and we'll be able to pull this uh starter out of here 
I want to see how bad this uh, the flywheel is. So here's the starter bolt. There. They look almost brand new. Look at this thing. I might have to continue to do this on there, see if I can get it. Might be a long bolt. We can get this out. So the stars should be able to come out now. All the connections are off of it, batteries off of it, everything's good. So should be able to get this out of here. This one's always the longer bolt. It's the bottom one. So should be able to get it out here soon. Hopefully. Looks like she's coming out. All right, here, grab this wrench here. Let's see if I can get, see if I can get down here on this bolt. Really long. Ugh. All right, there we go. I think she's coming out now. There we go. And she's out. Look how long that bolt is compared to that one. Holy crap. All right. Let's pull this starter out here. See how bad this is. It don't look bad. It don't look chipped or anything. Looks like it's still free spinning. Might be able to reuse it. Let's check that, uh, check that flywheel while we have that off of here. I'll grab a back, I'll grab a light here and see. I don't know if you can see down there. I might have to grab a flashlight so you can see this starter. Go grab a flashlight real quick. Or the flywheel. I just wanted to see what it looks like on the other side of this. Uh, there you go. Not too bad. Looks like it's worn a little bit, but it's not too bad. Good. We should be good. I like it. All right, so got that done. Now we need to get the, that sensor down there. We need to get that unplugged. This one right there. So we'll get that one unplugged and um, then we'll get the shift linkage. And I'll try to get that CV axle out. So now we can able to see, now you're able to see the CV axle now right there. So let's try to get this out of here, but let me get the shift linkage done underneath, and then uh, we'll get that sensor out. And we'll see what else we need to get done before we uh, drop this transmission. So we'll be right back. Thanks for watching, if you're still there. All right, so we got a lot done today. We got all the starter out of there. We got the shift linkage down. So right underneath here, we got the shift linkage down. So I'll show you real quick. Right there, so we got the shift linkage down, so it's just hooked up to the transmission, so we'll pull it out, and then we'll do that. There's the brace, support brace for the transmission shifter, so there's that, we got that down. We got all that done, and uh, so we got all the trans bolts loosened right here. So we got this one right there, and then some other on the other side, so we got it jacked up right here, I'll show you in a minute. Down here, I'll show you what we got done so far. So we got that bolt out there. We got that one out there. So there's another uh, 19 that's in the back there, and uh, should be ready to go. So next video, we'll be pulling this transmission down and uh, checking out the clutch and the flywheel and all that. So we got the starter out. We checked that out and all that. Get all the sensors out. Everything's unplugged here and there. And then we got this unloosened here too. This uh, bottom bushing right there. So we got that done. So they're loosened right there. So it's getting ready to go. Getting ready to drop. And we got uh, this one right here. So we'll be able to pull this one right here. We'll be able to pull that out of there. Get that out of there, out of the bushing, out of the trans mount right there, part of the motor mount, and then a few other bolts, and we should be able to drop the transmission. So, next video, stay tuned. We'll be dropping the transmission and uh, getting this thing out of here. The next is the engine. So, we're pulling the engine out next. So, 
looking good. We got a lot of work done. All right, so if you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. You can follow us on Facebook and Instagram at JC Motive Garage. So we got a lot done to the Integra. Transmission's getting ready to be pulled. Stay tuned. Next video, transmission's going to be pulled out of here. We're going to check the clutch, check the flywheel. We're going to check that. We're going to get the transmission over to the house and pressure wash it, get it cleaned up, drain it, put some new fluid back in it, and then we'll be pulling the engine. So if you like this video, please give us a big thumbs up, and we'll see you next time on JC Motor Garage. Thanks for watching.